girl this is for you girl not anybody else but this is for you girl if you are in a relationship okay look at my eyes oh you over here if you are in a relationship where a man puts his hands on you leave i have the most ratchet song in my head right now and maybe that's what i'm going to be doing later in the next six months i don't know i could find the next love of my life i don't know <laughs> Got a white boy on my roster. He be feeding me shrimp and lobster. He be like, that's all I know. That's all I know. If you can't be ratchet any place, be ratchet in your car. And then when you pull up, hi, God is good. Yes, amen. I just want to tell y'all how lucky I feel right now because this was the last hummus bowl. And I would have been ready to fight somebody if it were not here for me. Like the last time this ball, girl. The last time this ball. Mm hmm. One last stop. <laughs> you already know. But save this order, you'll love it. Yes, could I get a chai latte iced? Yeah, Grande? Anything else? Yes, but could I get that with almond milk and a strawberry cold foam on top? A strawberry cold foam? He be feeding me shrimp and salsa. He said, I'm doing well. Cash app was there. Okay, I'm parked. It seems like it's going to rain, so I'm not going to get caught in Starbucks, but I am going to chill out in the parking lot. That's my pretend office. That's my play play office, but not play play office. I like the vibes. But yeah, girl, I'm only going to talk about this hopefully one time, hopefully one and done just on account of ain't nobody got time for that what happened to sweetie brown where is she at she had us in a chokehold for a minute ain't nobody got time for that ain't nobody got time for that i ran for my life yeah i'm only gonna talk about this one time um i'm not gonna go into deep 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 detail because i really didn't go into deep deep detail when i was in the relationship you guys for a lot of reasons like i said one he was a public per not a public i'm the public person allegedly so I, don't know what he do, but anyway. I don't think i changed like myself for him but i definitely wasn't posting a lot because he literally told me like he he didn't like my online personality which is not an online personality like this is really who i am and i gotta say like in the beginning it's like yeah you're so funny you're so like you know like i mean who wouldn't like me who wouldn't like me but i think when the character doesn't go away and i'm really this confident and this assertive about my life is no longer fun anymore when you can't control me and so honestly i'm gonna be honest with you guys when i posted that we were engaged his 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 child his pretend personality came down and i think it was because okay i've met her parents not just like my dad who raised me who was my dad i'll never call my stepfather but you met my dad and then you met my i don't i hate to say it this way but you met my biological father but you met my you met my other daddy too and you met my family you met my grandmama hey this could that be my God is my boy my roster? He be feeding me in roster. Child. <laughs> anyway, I can't even take myself seriously. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know if it was because, okay, now I know like she's mine. Okay, she's mine. I've met all the most important people in her life. Um, I've met her children. We're doing like lots of family things together. We are becoming a family. We're looking at houses. We are combining incomes. Well, not really combining incomes. <laughs> I would never. 
just the thought of it. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not even going to sit up here and lie and be like, that man was not a blessing to me in my life in certain aspects. But my main thing is, why do people change? Like, why are you changing now, Lucius? And I'm not saying I wouldn't, like, help my man out. My man, my man, my man. I w but I'm not going Gabrielle Union. I'm not going 50-50. I, I, I keep the groceries in the refrigerator. I pay the light bill. Okay? I'm going I'm to furnish the whole house. Like, you know, I, <laughs> But, you know, he, he allowed me to be in my soft girl season so i really didn't have to be up on the internet posting you know what i'm saying like like you know he he filled in the gap as they say as the elders say in the church filling in the gap baby he filled in the gap i'm not even gonna sit up here and play with this man like that but he definitely became y'all so possessive scary possessive not even like cute possessive like girl where you going like scary possessive red flag is when somebody becomes extremely possessive extremely insecure that means they out there doing dirt okay you're out there doing dirt and just because you out there doing dirt and the first thing that you may turn to in an argument or when you're getting i would say too comfortable in a relationship is to go lay it low and spread it wide with somebody else that is not a quality that I have. Like, when I'm in a relationship, I'm very loyal to my man, okay? I, I, only my man can get this knuckle sandwich, you know what I'm saying? That's, you know, I'm just saying, you guys. You, feel, you know what I'm trying to say. With that being said, I can't confirm or deny my alleged female spidey senses, okay, of him going out there doing dirt. But that's a telltale sign of something is amiss. Something is going on. So anyway, and then like he wanted to know like every single thing. Like every, things that I ain't, I ain't never even told Jesus. Like, I don't do trauma bonding. Okay, get out of here with that. I don't do trauma bonding i don't want to bond over trauma i don't want to bond over you listening to me and my traumas i am so far removed from that okay but he just wanted to know everything everything about my baby daddy everything about like male friends just like everything and if i didn't tell him like he would get so upset and the language and the way in which he said it was just so <sighs> vile every relationship has their own issues nobody's perfect you're going to argue you're going to disagree but it's in the way in which you go through things together that are strong indicators of people's character only time i'm not even going to call it insecure the only time i will question somebody that i am with or exhibit quote unquote insecurities okay is when a person gives me a solid reason but i'm not looking for anything you know what i mean i'm not overly questioned i don't know i don't want to know who you've been with i want to know certain things like why didn't the relationship work out okay cool and a red flag for me is when people do the blame game y'all know what what do men always say she crazy she was crazy she did this to me she did this to me and again i told you i don't do that trauma bonding because there's games in the trauma bonding they want you to fix them and heal them and just be the person that just, uh, no so if i'm not asking you all these deep 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 questions please don't ask me please don't ask, please don't ask me okay because um, I was never concerned about his, his baby mama, his ex-wife. I was never concerned about any any of that, not once. But beyond that, you guys, just cannot marry that man, will not be with that man. Um, I'm not saying he's dead to me, but he's no longer in my um, general thoughts. And I know the way that i'm handling it is very like jokey jokey uh, she's over it I, I, girl let me tell you something let me let me let me let me get back to what i was on track so yeah um i would say going public with our relationship caused him great 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 insecurities and um it really amplified his misogyny okay 
and just being super controlling and super possessive. I could be in the grocery store and he hears a man's voice in the produce section saying, hey, how are you today? This is what we have. Da -da -da. Oh, it was y'all like crazy, crazy. And I thought to myself, you know, I you know, man, he's just so overprotective. At first, it's it's cute. It's overprotective. Oh, he really loves me. Oh, he really cares about me. And then, like, it became like an everyday need fest. Okay? And every day, my phone is telling me to put my eye drops in. An everyday need fest. The amount of validation that this man needed was just... Oh, girl, it was a lot. It was a lot. It was a lot. And, and you know, I, again, nobody's perfect. I'm not into trauma bonding. I'm nobody's mother, but what do you what do you need? Okay, I, I I am a sweet lady. Like I really am. Like what do you need? What is it that you feel like you aren't getting? And whatever he told me, he felt like he needed and he wasn't getting. Okay, okay, uh, but it was never never enough. And I'm saying all this to say, not to drag it because again i didn't share my relationship with you guys because i wanted to respect the privacy of the person that i was with do you know what i'm saying i i really didn't i really tried hard i really tried hard like i wasn't even i wasn't even posting i wasn't even posting like i got missing but like i said he made it comfortable to get missing i say all this to say you guys um don't ignore certain qualities um I thank God that we did not make it to July to the wedding day. I thank God that he revealed himself um, to me before the wedding day. That's one of the main things why I'm not sad about it. Thank you, Jesus. Um, I thank God because even though somebody can look perfect on paper, this man was perfect on paper do you hear me perfect on paper just because you're perfect on paper doesn't mean you you you, per you perfect up here okay so boom the straw that broke the camel's back we get into an argument everyone argues because i'm on this whole better health journey better health kick i'm not drinking I need a partner at that table to do certain things with me. If I say we're not drinking, let's not drink. We're going to support each other. I'm in a different headspace, right? I'm clear. I'm in the clear. Adulterated mind. Unadulterated mind. Argument ensues. And I'm not going to go into great, 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 great detail. He put his hands on me, okay? And no, he might not have punched me in the face or left any visible bruises or anything like that. But he put his hands on me. And I can't even say in a way that was I could brush it off unless I was under the influence. It wasn't even a way that I could kind of question and be like, mm, did he mean to do that? No, he meant to do what he did. He put his hands on me. Okay. And that was enough uh the only thing i feel bad about is that i didn't press charges i wish i would have pressed charges like that day but i was just in such shock like disbelief like who the f are you and the way that he put his hands on me made me question my life made me in fear for my life do you understand what i'm saying so not gonna cry she she is not crying because that is something that is not tolerated in my book. There is no amount of, oh, he's a good man, Savannah Ng, that anybody could do. Or, oh, it was just, are you sure? Oh, you're just not ready. Bitch, I'm sorry. <laughs> not you. Not you, friend. Not you. But uh, I'm, and that's why I said I'm not desperate. Like, when it happened, I was in shock. Called his sister. And I was just, because... I was just in shock, you guys. This person I was gonna get married to doesn't even make me sad. It makes my it makes my stomach like just sick to my stomach. You know what I mean? And like I said, some people will be all good on paper or whatever, woo woo woo, but 
they're they're not all good and for me the way in which he put his hands on me is not someone who's not used to doing these activities to women right that's not like of it's just I just can't, I just can't imagine him just going through life and me being the first person that he's put hands on yes I love this person I love this person deeply you guys deeply but I love myself a little bit more <laughs> to know that I don't deserve that and that was another thing we had conversations after the incident all right um which I wish I just would have just like never spoken to him again after that so that he could just really feel it but I feel like I gave him hope and that was my, not my intention to give him any kind of hope um but I, I I do recognize a person that has the potential to do that is I'm not saying that I feel sorry for him in any kind of way but like I just like are, are you okay like are you okay and then when I ask the question like are you okay it's I'm fine you made me do it Okay. Best decision of my best decision of my life to to not tolerate that. Girl, this is for you, girl. Not anybody else, but this is for you, girl. If you are in a relationship, okay? Look at my eyes. Oh, you over here. If you are in a relationship where a man puts his hands on you, leave. He's going to do it again. He's not sorry. He's going to do it again. He's not sorry. And I know you might have a lot of feelings invested, time invested, you know, but your life is not worth it. And not just you being unalived in, the, in a crazy situation, right? Because that does happen with domestic situations. But your life is valuable. Your experiences are valuable. How you lend yourself, your time, your consciousness is valuable. Life is too beautiful to be with someone who makes you feel like you're not good enough or that they can put their hands on you in a way that makes you worthless, right? That is not love. I'm telling you this, girl. I don't know who I'm speaking to, okay? But the first time, let that be the only time. And another thing. It is not your fault. Take that pressure off yourself. Breathe. Sit in that. It is not your fault. So you don't owe anyone the relationship. If anyone around you says, well, you didn't know what well, you did. It ain't your fault. There was nothing that you did that was worth somebody putting their hands on you. Get out of the relationship. There is no amount of money, gifts, jewels. I call them abuse gifts. Yeah, he gave he gave me some abuse. He tried to give me an abuse gift. I called it an abuse gift when he gave it to him. I said, "Is this an is this an abuse gift?" <laughs> Definitely diamonds because I mean, a girl loves diamonds, but it was an abuse gift and I just could not wear the abuse gift y'all i just could i could wear the abuse gift i could wear all the other things and keep all the other things that he gave me but thereafter i can't claim i can't claim that i don't want it i don't want it like the abuse gift is still sitting on my bathroom counter okay i don't know what i'm gonna do with that jewelry i don't know what i'm gonna do um but i don't want it so yeah um it's not your fault get away from people who have no compassion for the moment i i hate well you didn't know well there were you didn't know there were no signs everybody argues everybody argues right 
you don't know that a person is gonna go off the rails like that. But now if you stay, you know what you're getting yourself into. I have nothing to say to that man. If I saw him today or tomorrow, I would go clean the other way. I don't want to be anywhere in his vicinity. I don't want him anywhere in my vicinity, anything like that. It's you go your way, I go my way, because you're lucky I did not press charges. And here's another thing. He tried to blackman me. You going to call the police on a black man? I, I will call the police on a Oompa Loompa. Okay? I am not above calling the police on people, but I guess in the moment, girl, I was just shocked. I was just shocked. I was shocked. I was shocked, like, when I say in shock, I probably could have pissed myself. I was in shock, okay? Shock, pure shock. And it took me a couple of days to come up from out of that shock. A, 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 a little ounce of me felt, I don't wanna say ashamed. Don't wanna say ashamed because that's the, the wrong word. I felt duped disappointed like how could you we are building our lives together how could you how could you you know so needless to say i'm back outside not really outside like when i tell you i as they have always been my kids are my main priority okay always been a main priority i enjoy my life i enjoy the fun that i have with my children i could be single i could be in a relationship it doesn't define how i navigate through my life i'm completely confident in myself so i'm okay with that i don't want to date 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 anybody i don't want to i don't want to date anybody you guys I don't want to date nobody, okay, because I'm not saying men are trash. I love men. I need a man. I don't want a woman, okay? <laughs> Shout out to my friend who, who, Jesus, anyway. Um, yeah, but I don't want to date. I want to take time for myself. I want to take space for myself. I want to heal properly because even though, you know what, I might have like maybe a week or two from now, I might cry about it. But right now, I'm not, okay? Uh, right now, I am solid as a block of ice. I'm good. But yeah, I'm dating is out of my mind. I'm really focused on my kids and just raising them in the most healthy environment. And I thank God that my kids never witnessed that. I am a happy mom i have a family and that's another thing the way that you talk to yourself about yourself either makes you view life negatively or positively i am a mom i have a family i am not a single mom i am a mom i have a family repeat after me girl i am a mom i have a family i am not single i have all the love that i need P.S. I ain't giving nothing back. Give what back? Some of y'all said give the ring back. Give it. Girl. Girl. Girl, that's what you would do, but that's not me. <laughs> give that advice to somebody else. Let me go. I gotta go pick up my kids now. Give that advice to somebody else, friend. But I'm not that girl. I'm not that girl. And he already know he ain't getting that. Like this is where gifts, gifts. And if I choose to make it a pinky ring, I'll make it a pinky ring, okay? But this is a reminder ring, okay? No abuse allowed. This is my no no abuse allowed ring. Oh, Father God, in the name of Jesus, why did you make me a person that can't take nothing seriously? Oh Jesus, I love you guys. Thanks for watching.